Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another Floss Tube. And this is number 27. Floss Tubes are, well, this is where I talk about my cross stitch patterns and all my works in progress are whips that I'm working on for this week for the different groups I'm in. Sometimes I also talk about crochet, hopefully knitting in the future, even though I'm not in the mood to knit or crochet, and a little bit of quilting because I'm just learning how. So grab your coffee or whatever you want to drink right now. Oh God, I need like two or three more cups. Okay, so different things that I worked on for this week. For one, the Black Needle Society. Yeah. Black Needle Society. Or, yeah, Black Needle Society. It had a box that went on sale months and months and months ago. And I got one. And it's Frog Warts Year 2. I got year one, and I got the project. Where is it? I got that one started, but I haven't started. And see, this came in Frog Warts box. Ain't it cute? Now, this is my year one. I don't have all of it done. That's okay. That's okay because I got plans, okay? So, that's one of my whips. Today, I'm also going to be doing a mid-year whip parade after I get done with the homework, though, okay? So, Frog Warts Year 2, that is the pattern. They gave us a challenge to get it done within two weeks. And yes, I am trying. But we ha they have a virg virtual retreat that starts on, I think, the 8th. I think that's when it starts. Excuse me. But anyway, you have to finish it in the retreat. So I'm trying to get all but like 500 stitches done. Because for some of the games, I've got this as a prompt. So... This week, I started last Sunday, and I am now 50% done as of last night. So, I will be working on it more today. So, that's the frog warts, which I used this stitching for a double dip into my other the other groups. Now I have discovered <coughs> I like to take my pattern. Let's just open my little pattern here like this. On my clipboard, my paper one. And then I got my needle threader and I got a magnet and the magnet holds my scissors sits down in my lap, nice and handy. Everything's right there. I'm loving it. So, frog warts. I use that for homework prompts and magic, magical stitches and stitching for survival. And that's it. Yeah. So I worked on that. Let's see. One, two, three, four days. And four days, no, five days because last Sunday, I got halfway done. Yes. Okay. So I'm happy. On the 29th was my partner's birthday. So I started a new project and I would show you show you a picture, but my 
tablet, but I've got them all, all on, died. Leave it to me. But maybe I'll figure out how to stick pictures up in here and then I'll do it like up here. I don't know. But this is a Hade Underwater Dolphin and Turtles. And I started it for her on her birthday. This thing is going to be huge. I got 700 stitches in. I decided to try the parking method again and I'm going diagonal steps. So I just finished this box. I will do this one next. No, this one next. Then this one and then this one. And then I will start back up and do that per page or per row maybe. Might do it by the row and all. Like page row so it'd go down to about right there and work all the way across but i thought that was a good start and like i said this one is a big one so i got it in my big bag okay where am i going to put this <laughs> okay now so that was her birthday start. I used those stitches for magical stitches for a cabin. Um, this week for match, well, for the next, for last week and this coming week for magical stitches, it's a break time and it's cleanup of New York. And basically you can stitch on anything you want. And you can either help with cleanup or work on your cabins. Oh, coming into this month, I only had three of the cabins left to do. So I decided I was going to divide it between the two. So I finished a cabin and then I did some stitches for the cleanup. And now I've got two cabins left. And one, I just need 200 more stitches. I'll do that today. And then I'll have one cabin left. I plan on getting that cabin done this week. Now, they have a second set of cabins. I have started on them. I wanna get the first set done and out of the way. So then I could randomly work. How I got it done. Magical Stitches, they had a full coverage piece. You picked a piece and designated it for that challenge. I picked the Cross Stitch Studio Stitch Along. I have since then, and, and this is killing me because I normally do not do this, but This is it. I am on page two of it. Now they've already got this whole side done and they've started all the way across, okay? I'm way behind, way behind. But see all that confetti? The whole thing is confetti. There is no two stitches it seems, that are the same next to each other. I'm not enjoying it. I do this to enjoy my projects. So, and this is killing me. I'm UFO in this, unfinished object. I'm putting it aside. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to stop working on it. Maybe later I will decide to pick back up. But for now, I'm, I'm not working on it. I've ta I'm taking it out of the rotation. I'm done with it. Since this was my full coverage focus piece for Magical Studies. And I'm putting it aside. 
I decided to pick a new pattern, which for penalty, instead of 7,000, I had to do 10,000 stitches. And then I go down to 7,000 for each one after that. I am doing Lisa's uh, underwater dolphin and turtle piece. I just started it, so the counting be easy. And I took all those stitches that I had from my previous focus piece and put it on the year two cabins. I'll burn myself. Oh well, it's healing. So that's how come I've got the second set of cabins started. I've actually got one cabin finished and, and almost a second cabin finished. So it's killing me. But yes, I'm putting it aside. I'm not enjoying it. There's other projects I want to do. That's that. I'm going to have to deal with it mentally. I just hate leaving things undone. But I'm not enjoying it, so why do it? Okay, so that's magical stitches. Uh, stitches, survival of the stitches. Been mainly doing for supplies. Then they had a challenge, a individual challenge, the fireworks party. <coughs> and I joined in on that and I got the max stitches, 1200 stitches. And I did it all in one day because I did it on my whip for the Crystal Academy. Okay, Crystal Academy, for this week's spell, it was, what was the spell? Oh, what was it? Practical Enchantments, which was my Once Upon a Fairy Tale, which is this whip. I got it in here. I love this whip. Okay, so I started because I'm enjoying the parking in the other. I decided to try it on this one also. Now this one, it's rolled up. This thing is big, okay? Yes, I like big ass projects, a bag. But anyway, and that was the height of it. <clears throat> This is the correct way. So, it looks messy because it's been rolled up. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. So, I started doing the rows across, just filling it in. And I got 750 stitches in. And I'm loving it. And this one... I started uh, April, May, I forget, of, of this year. So far, all these projects, I've started this year. I've started a lot of projects this year. But this project, I will pull out again. Or the Crystal Academy one more time after August because that's when the new ones start. Then I did my extra credit. <coughs> For my extra credit, I'm doing, let me get the title page on and not the pattern. The New Normal by Long Dog. This is on 18 count. It's 18 count, ain't it? Yep. 18 count Opal Ada Cobbler by B Stitch Me. And I got quite a bit done. 
had been working on the horse. I had, I was like, I had that much. So I did all that. This week I plan on finishing this one. And then I will finish down the side. I'm trying to complete page one and then start right here on that one. I'm loving it. I'm loving how the black on this purple is looking and it's so popping, especially with the opal in it. I think it's gorgeous. I'm loving it. I, it's hard to put down <laughs> because I love it so much. But I started this one June. Yeah, June 15th. I don't have all my dates. I have some of the dates that I started. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, that's going to irritate me. Oh, so I went and I measured out the floss that I will need. If I read right and measured right, this is all the floss I'm going to need for that project. It's all in black. I've got it combed. So. And then I got the floss drops from Be Stitch Me Spring Equinox box. Yeah. So I'm loving having it all done and I can just pull one string out. Loving it. So I got 1,200 stitches on that one done this week. So that's all the homework. And those are all the projects I worked on this past week. This week for Crystal Academy is Forensic Studies for Magical Use. And it's my Halloween Quaker. And then the new normal again. New normal, I will be pulling out all the time. I want this done by the end of the year. That is my goal. Will I get it done? No telling, but it is what it is. Now, I plan on getting this one done this week. And then I'm gonna work on the first year. And then I will make each of them into project bags. I thought about making it into one big quilt, but it's, Five more years before they're released. All of them will be released. I don't want to wait that long to make a quilt. So, what I could do is if I still want to make a quilt in five years with it, then I can restitch them because I got the pattern, so why not? But for these, I'm going to make project bags into them because they're just so cute. Okay, my project bag. I use the project trackers from S. Ward Designs. I've punched holes so I can put them in my happy canner. I, I use three different ones. This is the basic one. It has the year and it goes to 2023. I also have this one for the big ass, ass projects. The Babs. Okay. It has to 2025. And then some of the smaller projects that I want to get done with this year, and I need more of these, is by the stitch count. And I definitely need more of these. So we'll see. That's how I keep track of all my projects using these. These are great. Find her on Etsy. It's as for Ward Designs. She's great. I've ordered from her two, three times. I forget. <laughs> but yeah, I use them. Now, for all my other whips. I got a lot of them. Well, let's wait. My birthday starts. I found this bag at a yard sale for a dollar. 
perfect bag for a whip project bag. So I have decided <coughs> to do this beauty for my birthday. I've already got my project tracker all started. This is Aurora 18 count opal essence. And yes, if I measure correctly, she'll fit on here very nicely. But all I gotta do is uh, stitch the side up. But I got all the fabrics at least started. I mean, all the threads started. I've gotta place an order to get more, but I've got enough to get me started. So that's all that counts because I've got a master kit of DMCs and I normally just put enough for the stitches when I'm kitting up. But that's gonna be my birthday start on July 14th, which is next week. And I so can't wait. <coughs> okay. I can tell mimosas are in bloom because I'm trying to get sick. I am highly allergic to mimosas. It was so bad when I lived in South Carolina in the little town. They were covered. There was mimosas everywhere. And normally it's just when they're in bloom. But when I lived there, because I was basically surrounded, it was all year round. I would was sick for 10 months straight with being well for two or three days out of a month. And it was all my allergies. It was so bad the doctor told me, you have to move. You cannot live here. So I moved to North Carolina. This area that I moved to don't have as many mimosas <laughs> trees. Thankfully. Because I can't handle it. But they're in bloom right now. And because of it, my body is is like, oh, hey, you're about to get sick. I don't want that. All right. So, should I do haul next? Yeah, let's do haul next. Because, see, I was a bad girl. I was a very, very bad girl. Ooh. Okay. Well. Retian had all those boxes and all. And I loved my last box. So I messaged her and I asked her, do you have any of the sorted dyers boxes? Which the dyer box was all white and creams made up. And you got a free piece of linen to go with it. And she said yes. And she made me up a box. And I got it. <laughs> so I got another box of Ada. I am set for my projects that I've got. I got a stack like this of projects I want to start. So, what came in this one was this pattern book. Then, let's go through the Ada because I have not even gone through all of it. Oh, two colors. A DMC floss, which this one is the same color that she sent me the other day, which is fine because my newest project, I need three skeins of these. So, 
it will be used. Okay, this is the, and for this box, it can go from 11 to 18 count. So this is 11 count, Ada. Honestly, I don't use 11 count, so I probably will be giving that away. But, yeah, that's the only 11 count that I have. This is 14 count. Nice big piece. <coughs> Let's see. This is another, I think this is a yard or half a yard. It's doubled up. So that's quite big. And that's 14 count. Let's see, what else is 14 count? Let's go with this beautiful cream. This is definitely, I'm pretty sure this is a yard because this is folded over four or five times. Yeah, so. It's at least half a yard. So that's 14 count. Let's see. Oh, nope, not that one. This one, I think this is more like an oatmeal. I'll be able to get several. So that's 14 count. Then, I think this is 14 count too. A little napkin. I've already got an idea of what I'm going to put on that one. Uh -huh. Then, let's see. I think these are 16 counts. And it's just a long strip. Perfect for bookmarks. Which, I need bookmarkers. I always need bookmarkers. This looks like it's 16 count too. It's quite big. I'm gonna get, I'm set with Ada, okay? I'm set. Uh, now, the rest of this is all 18 count, which is what I prefer to use. So, another strip. Some cream. I'm going to have so much fun dyeing this, too. This one's a lot softer. So. Baby, no. Okay, how am I going to fold this back? There. Then, there's this cream. A lot of these are half a yard or a yard. I'm not even sure. I will measure it once I put it up. And I got little strings all over me. It's okay. <laughs> I've got this other cream. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, this one's huge. This is most definitely a yard. Yes, I'm still going. There's this cream. Like I said, all these are creams and whites. I wanted them so I can dye some of my own fabrics for some of my projects coming up. Then... There's another little strip. Oh, okay, this is long. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, this is four layers thick. 
One, two, three, four. And I know what I'm going to use these for already. Then, this is the piece of linen that she sent me. I've never worked on linen, but I want to learn. So, this was cheap enough. I can learn on it. So, oops. <laughs> oh, well. So, that came all together. So, that's where I was back. Now, there is a project I want to do, and it's this piece by Paula Ballum. I'm going to start it on the 29th of this month in memory of my mom. Now, my copy of this had been chewed up by a dog. I found this on the resale site. She was like, are you sure you want it? Because it's in pieces. And it is literally in pieces. Oops. It's in pieces. So, I told her, yes, I do not mind that it's in pieces. I'm not collecting it. I wanted it to do the pattern. Minus chewed up with holes. <laughs> so this one, even though it's in pieces, I can still read the pattern and I will be able to fill in those gaps of the holes. So yeah, it's all good. So I got that for a dollar, plus a dollar something for shipping. Seriously, yeah. Send it. <laughs> oh, so on one, two, three stitch, I had to order some flosses. So I needed these, all these DMCs for a project. <coughs> but of course, they couldn't travel alone. I needed this for one of my Mirabilia's along with some of the beads. I get them slowly. Stuff is expensive. And then I saw this in their clearance. This fabric. And I loved it. So I got it. And I got half yard of it. From their clearance. It'll work. So that was my one, two, three stitch. Then, my fabric of the month from Fortnite Fabrics came in, which I thought I skipped this month. I'm pretty sure I skipped this month, so I don't know why I got a fabric. So, I'm going to have to contact them and find out what went on. But this is called In Dragon. And I get the gray. I don't like the browns, you know, a, a, the typical Ada. I, I like gray tones, but look at how gorgeous this piece is. Love it. And it's 18 count Ada. So, for Fortnite, I get the gray. Regular. No opal. Just the gray. The Stitch Me, I get the color and the opal. So, that way I'm getting a little bit of both. Then, I have the others that I can dye myself for any colors that I want. Okay. So, oh, so. I'm a sucker for those Facebook ads, but Annie's had a deal for the fabric strip of the month, okay, to try it. 
and I got this one, a dollar seventy-five plus the shipping. Okay, look at that. This one is gorgeous. Am I going to get it every month? No. I can't afford to. If I could afford to, I would. I cannot afford to. So, this one is Mona Sunday Stroll. And I love the colors of the fabrics in here. So, I'm going to have to work with getting that. But I, I wish I could get it every month, but I cannot afford, afford it. There's no way. So, I canceled it. I didn't want to, but I did. It is what it is. But now, all that's left is the whips. Okay. Uh... Normally, I get, normally I only have a few projects. Now, I've gotten, no, four finishes so far this year. Two of them I have already given away. That's my problem. When I do these projects, whether they're crochet, cross-stitching, uh, or anything, I give most of my work away as gifts. This year, I'm determined I'm not doing it. I'm doing some of this for myself. So, four ones that I have started in 2020. I do not have anything older than whips started in 2020. That's it, everything else is done. So, <coughs> okay, I do not want to be sick. This is done on 14 count Ada that I dyed with blueberries. It is Stitch Your Own Adventures Letters from Hogwarts from St Stuart Cunning Cunningham. And I started it on August 22nd and that's what I have done so far. I want this done this year. So it is my oldest whip. So I do pull it out quite often for magical stitches because if you don't have something that matches the prompt then you pull out your oldest whip this month I want to finish this chapter which I think I can do easily then that leaves me with one two three chapters to go and then the bottom which I'm going to put the bookcase, the witchy bookcase across the bottom. But I don't want to do the bottom until I've done all the bottom chapters. So I will be pulling this one out more and more. Yeah. Then, let's see, I have not pulled this one out for a while long. I dyed this myself. It's on Ada. And it's the Samhain Owl. I miss not having my tablet to show you, but it died on me. I'm sorry. Hopefully I'll get, get it. But this was a stitch long and it came with three patterns. The Samhain Owl, Sexy, and the Kitten. I started on the Owl first, and I started up here. That was my problem. I should have started in the center or 
on a section that wasn't so popcorn-y. But it is what it is. I need to pull this out more also. I do not want to carry it over. But that one I might be. It is what it is. Then my other one from last year. And I started this one September 11th, 2020. It's along the forest path, a hade on 18 count by Selena Finch. I love her work. I have three pages done. This one I know for a fact I will be working on for probably the next two years because that this marks the halfway point of the top row. So, by the end of the year, I want to be over to here. I can do it. I've just got to do it. <laughs> So those are all my whips from last year. Pretty good so far. Ooh, I got a lot more. <laughs> I got a lot more. Yeah. I got a lot more. Okay, let's see. Now, my new year, new start. Go ahead and just pull it out. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, they're stuck in here. Okay, maybe this was not a good idea to use this. Projects hostage. There. Now I got it. Okay. You go away. For it. Now, I've got all of them in my lap, except for ones I have not started yet. Stay right there. Okay, so for my new year, new start, I started Queen of Swords Owl right there. See, that is Sam Hain Owl right there. Last one I just shipped from the school. Then that is my new year, new start. It's a Hade. It's a quick stitch. Queen of Swords Owl. By Ciro Marticelli Chinti. It's done on 20 count. And I have started doing color completion on this one. It's not very big. It's going to be from here to here. That's it. You can see the owl's wing right here starting. I'm going to get this done this year. I'm getting this baby done this year. Then I've got, I started this one this year. This was a very small one, but I got it finished, but I have not FFO'd it yet because, okay, open up. This is the part I've gotten done. So see, I do have one of my finished projects put on the hat. 
but I don't have this part done. This part, I have a 10, and I want to put this part wrapped around the 10, and then this part as the top of it to seal it, if that makes any sense. And that will be my Orc Keeper, because it's just too cute. Okay, why are you flushing me out? Okay, there, thank you. So I have that one. Oh no, I just started that one. I'm trying to go in at least rough order of when I started them. Then I started this one in March. It's Halloween Fairy by Nora Col Colbert. I can't say it. It's 18 Count Ada Guardian by Be Stitch Me. Wow, I've done so much. <laughs> That's it. I've got to start working on her. I have to. That is wimpy, even for me. So, she's going to be one of the ones of fancy folks for Fancy Folk Mondays. Another one that I finished was this little Christmas kitty. It's a uh, Brooks Books Advent Calendar. I'm on the second one, the polar bear. Yeah. Have, I'm not much of a Christmas stitcher. I'm more of a Halloween or fairy. So, it is what it is. This one I started in January. This one I am determined to finish this year also. And everybody has seen this. This is the one that I took with me on my trip to Florida when my mom was sick. And it helped me keep my sanity. Uh, now, down here. I'm behind again because all of the bottom has now been released. Next month is all the beads. So I've got to get her done or caught up. Maybe I'll concentrate on her for a week and get her caught up. But that's by Autumn Lane Stitchery. The Dark Queen of the Sea. Very popular. And that fabric I dyed by myself. It's 18 count Ada. And I dyed it with teal and purple. This one is another Brooks Books. Let me see if I can get it out because yes, I got it in the original package. It is Spirit of Evergreen. She's gorgeous. This was my first time working on the perforated paper and that's how much I've got done. I don't like stitching on the paper. Pure and simple. And I'm going to get this done, hopefully, before Christmas. So, let's see. No, not yet. Not yet. Another Christmas. I got a lot of Christmas. This one I am doing for my grandson, Carson. And it's that stocking right there. I will not get this done by Christmas because that's all I've got done. That's it. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. My goal is next Christmas. Thing is, if 
I give one grandchild, I got to get give one thing to one of my grandchildren. I got to give it to all of them. So, yeah. And that leads to this. Now, this project I will have done for all of them by Christmas. And it's their names in the alphabet they pick. This is for my granddaughter, McKinley. I, I love this one. Reminds me of Cam Newton. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm almost done with McKinley. Each week, I am working on this. Not including this week because I'm trying to finish the frog warts. But then, I will be working on it at least once a week. And if I do that, I will have all the grandchildren's names done by Christmas. So, next Christmas will be uh, stockings. This Christmas is their names. Last couple of Christmases, it was Afghans. So, then I will make them quilts, okay? <laughs> I like making things and giving them away. So this one is 18 count opal, Ada Opal by B Stitch Me. I started it on March 1st. Everybody knows this one in it. it's gorgeous. Bellatrix, Be Bella, Be however you say it. Yeah. I, I'm loving working on this one. I love her on this fabric. I think she is going to be gorgeous, but I don't have a lot. So, Fancy Folk Mondays. She's going to be pulled out quite a bit. Hopefully. Hopefully, that's, that's the goal, at least. That is the goal. Then... This one. Which one. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one is, let me find the cover page. Okay, where are you? All Hallows Eve. This one is by Joan Elliott. All Hallows Eve Sampler. And that is where I'm at. I've got the whole box done up. So, this is another one I love. It's um, a name, Twin Count Ada by Be Stitched Me. I'm loving it on that color. I'm loving it. I cannot wait. To stitch on it more. I'm thinking about taking each of these whips and pick one a week. And besides the homework, well, I got the homework. I've got full coverage Fridays, fancy folk Mondays. And then the other days, just working on one of these. I want to start making some progress. <coughs> I have to start making some progress. I do not know how many whips I have right now. I've got a lot of big ones, including this one I'm pulling out. This is Magical Study. It's another big haid. Okay, let's see. Let me try doing it this way. It's on 20 count. I think it's 20 count. Where did I put you? I 
I have lost the paperwork for this one. But, oh well. I've got the first page done. I've started the second page. Yeah. I'm loving it. I won't work on this one. I wish there was more hours in the day. That would be awesome. Because then I could work on more of these and get more things done. It's going to happen. No. Because I don't have control over that. Another. You know. I never liked Quakers or samplers. But now I'm seeing. I, I've got a trend. I've started doing them a lot. And this one I love. This is on 22 Count Ada by B Stitch Me. I think it's a no name one too. Yeah. It is Halloween Quaker. Gorgeous. By Lila Studio. It's just a post-it note. It comes off. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, it's post-it note. To remind me of what fabric it is. But. This one is this week's homework. So, that's all I've gotten done. This week's homework for Crystal Academy is this. So I'm hoping to get this done. That is right there. I wanna get it done. I started this in Mar on March 5th. Yeah, so I will be leaving this one out because it's the homework for this week. And let's see how much I can get done with it. There. This is my other new love. I love this one. A Midsummer Night Fairy. She's gorgeous. I love it. It's Mirabelia by Nora Colt. Colbert fabric dyed by me. And that's what I have done. See, if I sit down and just stitch, I can get some progress done. And if I just take two or three weeks, I mean, two or three days out of a week, I can make progress. I won't get whole projects done, but I'll make projects. I mean, progress. And that's all my whips. Now. My birthday start. This is all ones that I have that I want to start. See? This is my chewed up coffee. So, starting this one this month. So, for my mom and my birthday. Then, this one I'm starting to kit up. It's going to be on this fabric, and it's the 100 Owls by Owl Forest. It's a freebie they have on their site. Then I want to start this one in October. And I don't want to do all these on the same. I can't remember if I got enough fabric for one. I don't think I did. But I might change fabric. But I got the pattern. Come on. Come on. But I love these. I got all the little patterns. 
So, Halloween. Right now, I got this fabric from Fortnite. I might just pick different grays and do them all separate. Then, let's see, which one is this one? This one. It's another male Belia. Cathedral Woods Goddess by Nora Colbert. I want to start her on Avocado 18 Count Opal by B Stitch Me. I think she'll be gorgeous. Gorgeous on there. So I started to hit her up. When will I start her? I don't know. I don't know. I was about this pattern. I have not picked out the fabric yet I, because I think I just want to do it on white. But Lisa and me love dolphins and ocean scenes. So one of our bathrooms is done in that. So I want to do this one too. When will I start it? I don't know. I don't know. Then, this one. This was almost my birthday start. It is a Teresa Winsor, Winsler English Cottage Garden. English Cottage Sampler. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Is it going to be easy? No. It's got tons of blends. I know. But I have decided I'm going to put her on 18... No, 16 count, so vain, by Fortnite Fabrics. She is going to be gorgeous. Each month after, after July, <laughs> I'm only going to allow myself one start. That is it. So... August, September, November, December, shoot. Okay, I got to start another one this month. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, these are all the ones in the process of being kitted up. Are kitted up already. Wait, not that one. All these. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new starts coming. I'm going to do it. But I am going to finish some more stuff. I've got a lot of big product projects. And that's what Lisa's always getting on to me about because I never finish anything she says I do finish I just got a lot of big projects so I want to see some more whip parades I love watching whip parades so this is mine oh my god it's over an hour I just realized that I'm sorry <laughs> I need more coffee my coffee's cold very cold, and that's okay. I drink iced coffee all the time, so what's the difference? But that's it. If you have a whip parade, tell me in the comments below. I want to see them, please. <laughs> I love seeing whip parades. That's one of my downfalls, because I see other people's whip parades, and then I pick out things that I want to do. Like the English cottage garden. I saw somebody working on it. And oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So, yeah. It's an older pattern. Do I care? Nope. Do I have it? Nope. Do I want to do it? Yes. So, I will. <laughs> but thank you for joining me. Please, if you enjoyed this and want to see my progress, hit subscribe like 
it does boost my eagle, ego. E. Okay, I can't talk right. I cannot talk right. But whatever. But as running with scissors. Yeah. I think that's it. It helps our egos just a little bit when people like or comment or subscribe. And we all need a little boost. We all do in today's world, pure and simple. We do. So I do like comments, I mean videos as much as I can. If I like them, I hit like. If I don't like them, I do nothing. Why bring somebody down? Just because of my own opinions. I'm not going to do that. So, um, <laughs> but if I like, I will hit like in a heartbeat. It does not cost me anything but a second. That's it. But anyway, I hope everyone has a blessed day. Happy 4th of July, which was yesterday. Um, we had a relaxing day at home, which was just what we wanted. I'm sorry, I'm not going out. My immune system is weak. I'm not going out. Everybody can say it's getting better, but I don't believe it. Um, <laughs> my tail was staying home. I hope everyone had a blessed July, 4th of July, and I hope everyone enjoys the summer. Blessed be everyone.